What's going on guys, Pastor Frederick here. Now, mega church pastor T.D. Jakes has been around for a long time, and unfortunately, he is not known for his sound theology. T.D. Jakes is a prosperity preacher, word, faith preacher, and someone who believes in modalism, a perversion of the Trinity. He believes that God exists in different manifestations as opposed to different persons he doesn't believe in orthodox view of the trinity i don't i'm not crazy about the word persons and this is most people who know me know that that is really my doctrinal statement is no different from yours except for the the, the injection of manifestation manifest, in, to manifest instead of persons which you describe as modalists and i describe as pauline the fact of the matter is god has revealed himself in the person of the father in the person of the son and the person of the spirit we know that the Father is God. We know that the Son is God. We know that the Spirit is God. We know that this one God has existed eternally in three persons. We know that there is one nature and one essence in these three persons. And so the Bible has much to say about the triune God. It has much to explain to us about the triune God. Our problem is that we want to think of God as just a mighty man. God is not a mighty man. God is God. And as such, he has presented himself to us as the triune God. Our inability to apprehend this is different than saying that it's something that cannot be explained. It can be explained. Most of us just don't like the explanation. Now, despite all of that, people still flock to his church. He has amassed a huge following and this has caught the eye of a lot of celebrities celebrities in all across multiple industries love to talk about td jakes whether it be oprah radio host personalities p diddy in fact td jakes was at p diddy's party Now, as a pastor, I try to find opportunities to hang out with unbelievers and to reach out to the lost, but not to just break bread and to fraternize with them, but to actually share the gospel with them, not to blend in, but to stand out. That is what a pastor should do. A pastor should stand out, not blend in. But T.D. Jakes is blending in with the world that is a problem just like a doctor has a responsibility to preserve life a pastor has the responsibility of telling people that they are on their way to hell if they're living in willful sin p diddy is not a follower of christ there were so many other celebrities at this party who are not followers of christ that is not the time to be hanging out kicking back and breaking bread and rubbing shoulders with unbelievers it appears that he is a lover of the world and the bible says if you love the world you are an enemy of god paul says in galatians as it related to preaching the gospel he says obviously i am not trying to win the approval of people but of god if pleasing people were my goal i would not be christ's servant you can't be a people pleaser and a God pleaser simultaneously. You have to be one or the other. If you are going to please God, you're going to offend people. If you want to please people, you're going to offend God. I would much rather offend people than to offend God. But some might push back and say, well, T.D. Jakes is becoming all things to all men so he can win some to Christ. He's contextualizing the audience and fitting in and blending in with them so he can reach them. That sounds good, but that's not what T.D. Jakes is known for doing. T.D. Jakes has stopped preaching on sin a long, long time ago. He's watered down his message. His message is centered around health and wealth and receiving a blessing from God just for being great. Blessing is in what you got left. And if you will sow what you got left, God said, I'll give you back whatever it was. His, his sermons are seeker sensitive. His sermons appeal to the flesh our worldly desires the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life that is what td jake's messages consist of and he's not going to offend or drive conviction into anyone's spirit with those 
watered down messages. So TD Jakes is not becoming all things to all men. He's not living and changing his conduct to win some to Christ. He's changing his conduct to be validated by the world and watering down the gospel. Paul says, if I or ever angel ever change the gospel, preach a different gospel, water down the gospel, let us be anathema, accursed. So the question becomes, what's motivating T.D. Jakes to water down the message so much? He's rubbing shoulders with the elites. He's in parties with P. Diddy, who's known for some nefarious, crazy antics. Why is T.D. Jakes doing that? Is there is he a part of a secret society of elites? What's really going on? I think it's actually a lot simpler. T.D. Jakes is a lover of money. And when you're a lover of money, you will fall into traps and snares and your life will be plunged into ruin. Now, on the surface, T.D. Jakes has it all, the money, the fame, the platform. But what about his soul? Christ says you cannot love two masters. You cannot serve both God and money. You have to love one or the other. You will love one and despise the other. The way T.D. Jakes is conducting himself, it appears that he loves money and despises the true gospel because T.D. Jakes is not preaching it. He's not sacrificing anything for it. He's leveraging his fame. He's leveraging his platform to market himself, to market his family and to prepare himself further into stardom. T.D. Jakes is playing with fire. Jesus says, what is the profit of man to gain the whole wide world and lose his soul? Is going to a party a sin? Well, it depends. If there's going to be alcohol, vulgar music, immodestly dressed women and men at the party, that should prick your conscience. You should not be comfortable as a Christian going to a party like that. That should not, that should not, you should not feel good about doing that. You should not be comfortable in an environment like that and if you're not comfortable if that convicts your conscience and you go against your conscience you are in sin but if you do go and you're comfortable and you're singing happy birthday and you're just enjoying the festivities then one has to question whether or not you are in the faith you might want to go back and examine yourself to see if you are in the faith but if you think i'm being judgmental of td jakes i suggest you watch this video right here Thank you.